all right let's see how to use bitbucket so for reference i have installed bitbucket on my local and you can see it is hosted on port 7990 so you I, you can already see one project there which is project one to create a new project you just need to click on this create project button you can fill the details like project name and project key which is unique that you can give here and you can also provide the description right there is also a project avatar where you can select the image re uh, respective to your project so for reference i am just using one of the images that i have on my desktop right now so once i click on done and create project it will create a new project for me so once i have the project created i can create a repository here so for that again i need to fill up the details like the name of the repository and description which is not mandatory so you can see here set of commands which are required to set up your rep repository now initially your repository is blank so you can see here we have two projects project one and two and we have one repository inside it if you click on the repository we will again go back to that page where we have get commands on the left side i have links to create a repository import a repository and you can see repositories here and i can also manage the project settings right so if i click on the settings if i click on the repository it will take me back to that same page now i go to one of the local folders on my machine let's say i want to use this machine as my local repository so i will use all these commands which are written here so first of all i have opened git bash so again that requires git need to be installed on my local and i will follow all these commands one by one so in the first step i am setting up some configurations which is related to user which i am going to use so the username i am setting and the email uh, i am setting here then i am cloning the repository using the link that i have so it can be your github url it can be your local git repository link so you can see once you do this you will see this kind of structure where you have the dot git folder which is saving all the settings now we do not have any piece of code here in this folder because we have not committed any piece of code here nor we have created any file inside it so what we can do here is uh, we can copy the code directly to this directory and then commit on git we can initialize the repository using it in it right so git in it will initialize this repository and then what we can do is let's say we want to add some files so for that we'll use git add minus minus all if you are not aware of the git commands that we are using here so i would suggest you to follow the entire git course for one hour that is available or free of cost on our channel you can also find the link in the description section so let us say i create a new file which is readme file and in that file i am just putting one comment so uh, after initializing i am checking the status which all files are untracked so it says readme.md is not yet pushed on remote repository so what i can do is i can use git add minus minus all or maybe dot and then we can use git commit minus m initial commit that is to give name or comment to my commit and then what we can do is we can set a remote origin using this so git remote add origin and then link to this origin right so if i click enter now i'm ready to push my code onto remote repository it says that it remote uh, origin already exists because i have done it initially so if it is already set it will give you this error but if it is not set then you will not get this error so next step is to push the code on remote repository so what we can do is get push minus u and from origin to master so it says that your commit is done and on the master branch it is committed now if i refresh the page here i can see that readme file is present here with the same content which i have written in that file so this is how we use git on our local or i would say this is how we use bitbucket on our local now we see on the left pane we have add branches we have a lot of options like sources commits we can check all the commits here we can see all the branching here see we have the name of author who has made the commit with the commit reference id and we have uh, the comment that we have used for the commit if you click on it it will show us all the changes which are there on that particular commit 
so that is the beauty of this tool again we have a lot of options uh, which we can play with and we'll later play with a lot of options we'll show you the complete power of bitbucket in the later videos the target for this video is just to give you a basic understanding of how to create projects how to create repositories and how to commit your code on bitbucket i hope you are now pretty much comfortable with bitbucket if you face any challenge with installation do let me know i'll also post a video for installation thank you for being with us stay tuned